The Honourable Member for Halifax. Le Premier ministre ne sera pas présent à une conférence des chefs d'État sur le changement climatique qui se déroule à New York, même s'il se trouve lui-même à New York. Le président Obama y sera, tout comme le premier ministre Cameron. C'est aujourd'hui que la table sera mise pour la conférence de Paris en 2015. Quelle sera la contribution des conservateurs, à part une annonce recyclée des mesures qui ne prendront même pas effet avant 2017? Mr. Speaker, that's ridiculous. We're taking a leadership role. The Minister of Environment is in New York City this week, representing Canada at a number of climate change meetings. Canada has and is taking significant efforts to curb climate change through a number of avenues, both domestic and international. Mr. Speaker, through our investments in clean energy and our sector-by-sector -sector regulatory approach, we have seen our economy grow while emissions have gone down, unlike the Liberals and the NDP, who want a job-killing carbon tax. The Honourable Member for Halifax. The only measure environmental des Conservateurs is the recyclage of the response. Pendant que les Conservateurs manquent le bateau, le monde entier se mobilise. Une coalition de 73 États et de 1000 entreprises, menée par le président de la très radicale Banque mondiale, propose de mettre un prix sur le carbone. Et où est le Premier ministre? absent encore une fois. Pourquoi les conservateurs ignorent la communauté d'affaires qui réclame de l'action sur la question des changements climatiques? Mr. Speaker, the NDP have been telling people for years that it has to be one or the other. In other words, they'll have to shut down the economy in order to help the environment. And the reason they're so mad, Mr. Speaker, is we've proven their whole ideology wrong. We, Mr. Speaker, under the leadership of our Prime Minister and our Environment Minister, have seen the Canadian economy grow 10 percent, while greenhouse gases have actually decreased 5 percent, Mr. Speaker. And that's why we on this side are correct in our approach, and they on that side are stuck in an ideology that has been proven wrong. Listen to the speeches of the UN because the simple fact is this by failing utterly and completely to come to grips with the climate crisis and make real reductions in greenhouse gas emissions, the Conservatives are setting Canada up to fail in the green energy economy of tomorrow. Report after report, the latest on Monday from Clean Energy Canada shows that Canada will be left behind in the clean energy revolution if the federal government doesn't wake up. Why are the Conservatives asking Canadians to miss out on what could be a three trillion dollar market? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, as I was saying, our party is the only party that is committed to protecting the environment while keeping the Canadian economy strong. We believe that you can do both at the same side at the same time. This is why we've made significant investments to begin Canada's transition to a clean energy economy and advance our climate change objectives. Mr. Speaker, Canada already has one of the cleanest electricity systems in the world, and it's the world's third largest producer of hydroelectricity. Mr. Speaker, over three quarters of Canada's power comes from emission free sources. And that's something Canadians need to know. Here, here. And I'm the Halifax. Well, that's rich, because let's be clear this is the same government that's essentially given up on oil and gas regulations. Canada is going to New York empty handed on the global fight against climate change. Our allies and our closest trading partner, they get the urgency, and they're taking real action to reduce emissions and boost clean energy. So, what kind of climate impacts do we have to see here? at home before the Conservatives get it. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, our government gets it. We realize that you can both grow the economy and protect the economy at the same grow the economy and protect the environment at the same time. Our government is taking important steps to help Canadians adapt to, ch to the changing climate. We have made significant investments to help Canadians understand and plan for climate impacts, including Canada's north. This helps our government to produce, Mr. Speaker, credible, science-based information to support planning and decisions making. This is something that the NDP is against. All they want is a $20 billion carbon tax that will increase the price of everything. 